and coins. Deities are worshipped in various forms from time immemorial. Beliefs and reverence for supernatural powers have driven humans to worship various forms. They may be natural elements personified, saints and divine personalities considered next to God or the God himself. These deities are found depicted on Indus Valley seals, on walls of ancient ruins and at places of worship. After the advent of coins, deities were depicted on coins of Greece, Rome and on Yanapada coins of India. Different groups of people believe different things about God and thus have formed their own ideas. And each religion specified a fixed role for the various gods that adorned their pantheon. Today, of course, most of the religions are monotheist, that believes in only one God. But in ancient times nearly all the popular religions of the then world had many gods fulfilling a variety of roles and functions. So obviously, the royalties of those times had an array of gods mentioned in their inscriptions, depicted in their art like the paintings, sculptures and more importantly on their coinage. These gods and goddesses which feature on the coins are a very important link and evidence of the religious beliefs of those particular kings and the change in the patterns of the deities appearing on the coins also give an insight into the acceptance and merger of different religions and an attempt of the kings to blend in with the locals of the newly acquired foreign lands. The name Kushane derives from the Chinese term Gishang used in historical writings to describe one branch of the Uezi tribe. Kujula Kadefizes established the Kushane dynasty in 78 AD by taking advantage of this union in existing dynasty of Pahalava and Sithoparthians and gradually carving out a kingdom in the southern prosperous region, which was the northwestern part of ancient India, traditionally known as Gandhara. The Kushane slowly rose to become one of the prosperous empires of India and ruled over a vast province in the northwest of India from 30 AD to 375 AD. The dynasty reached its paramount under its great king Kanishka I. Under Kanishka's rule, Kushane controlled a large territory ranging from the Aral Sea through areas that include present-day Uzbekistan, Afghanistan, and Pakistan into northern India as far east as Banars and as far south as Sanchi. The foundation of the Kushan Empire in Bactria and India was the result of a long series of ethnic migrations. And that is clearly visible in their coinage. It was also a period of great wealth marked by extensive mercantile activities and a flourishing of urban life, Buddhist thought, and the visual arts. The Kushans are also credited to have struck the first ever Indian gold coins. A total of 34 deities appear on the coins of the entire Kushan Empire. This diversity in the divinities appearing on the Kushan coins is a very important link that hints to the wide cultural connections of this dynasty. You find coins depicting the gods and goddesses with the Mesopotamian, Zoroastrian, Greek, Roman and Indian connections. Out of the many gods and goddesses, few have very mysterious origins and their cult seems to have been long forgotten. For the better understanding of deities on Kushane coins, they are classified depending on their cultural significance 